Introduction From the moment of birth, humans begin to experience various sufferings. The suffering experienced by infants is mainly hunger, cold and heat. Usually, they express their needs by crying. As they grow older, during toddlerhood and childhood, they enjoy playing and are curious about nature. They want to observe and try various things. They may like different toys. If they get their favourite toys, they will feel happy. Otherwise, they will feel sad. And if their toys are lost or damaged, they will also get upset. During childhood, they are energetic and enjoy hanging out with their peers. Although they have various needs, usually they are easily satisfied and happy. During adolescence, their affection towards the opposite sex grows. Instinctively, they want to date and feel happy while dating. On the contrary, if the person they admire rejects them, they will feel gloomy. After growing up, with the growth of knowledge and abilities, they have more and more desires and hobbies. Some people enjoy arts such as singing, dancing and acting. Some love sports such as martial arts. Some like reading and writing. Some like travelling. Some like to pursue power. While some keep their curiosity and passion for exploring truth. Humans seek happiness and satisfy desires through a wide range of activities. Most humans look for food when hungry and seek clothing when cold, like other animals. Their lives are about instinctively alleviating suffering and pursuing what they consider to be freedom and happiness. Very few people take the time to ponder what is the root of suffering, what is the essence of happiness, and what is true freedom. Now let's delve into these questions. Chapter 1. Types of Sufferings There are two types of human suffering. The first is physical suffering, which is commonly referred to as pain of the body. The second is psychological suffering, which is mainly rooted in desires and emotions. We call it suffering of not getting what one wants, suffering of separation from what one loves, and suffering of encountering what one dislikes. Let's analyse it step by step, starting with physical suffering. There are several types of physical suffering, the suffering of illness, injury, ageing and dying. Let's take the suffering of illness as an example. When humans fall ill, the physical pain and discomfort persists and may even intensify over time. Meanwhile, they may also have various negative emotions such as stress, fear of death, worry about work, children and grandchildren, and worry about money. For example, if a person has acute rhinitis, he may suffer from nasal congestion, runny nose, difficulty breathing and discomfort in the head and lungs. When applying medicine to clear the nasal passages, he will feel comfortable and his mood will improve as well. While treating an illness, when inflammation or virus is cleared, the pain will diminish or even disappear and the body will feel comfortable. After recovery, as the pain disappears, the physical discomfort will disappear. 
Subsequently, the various negative emotions will also gradually alleviate and a relaxing and joyful mood will last for a while. Similarly, when a person is hungry, he may feel weak, stomach discomfort and anxiety. When he starts eating, the pain of hunger gradually alleviates, energy gradually recovers, negative emotions fade away, and happiness emerges. In short, the feeling that emerges from the relief or the elimination of physical pain is relaxation, pleasure, or comfort in the body. They are simply two different ways to describe the same feeling. However, humans are ignorant, clinging to the feeling that arises from the relief or the elimination of physical pain, while rejecting the pain itself. Physical pain is lasting, while the feeling that arises from the relief or the elimination of physical pain is fleeting. In the term kwai le, happiness, kwai means fleeting, while le means alleviation.